I hated math when I was a kid. But after a lot of studying math, sometimes I get cocky because I finally cracked the problem. Sometimes I cry because I just couldn't understand the theorem. I went to Columbia University and majored in math and operations research. So after 7,500 hours of studying math, here's what I learned. So I watched this video and the professor talking about how if you're currently falling behind or you're struggling in your math class, he says that you can catch up and be at the top of your class or getting an A in just two weeks. And I believe him because I have personally done this so many times. I think IQ and being smart are just a scam. So our IQs follow a normal distribution, which means that most people have very similar IQs, and that, that little IQ difference is not gonna determine our performance at the high school or college level. The people who have extremely high IQs are very rare and are probably not gonna be in your class. They're probably already in some genius or gifted school. So you may think Gary Chen from your math class is way smarter. Harder than you, but he is not. He probably just has more strict parents than you. So all the people that I know are good at math are extremely obsessive about math questions. They won't feel comfortable if they don't understand something or they cannot figure out something. It's like an earworm in their head, but the earworm is whispering about numbers. So I have this friend who's doing a PhD in math. She won't be able to talk or think about anything else if she is working on some math questions in her head. Personally, I'm not as extreme as her. Maybe that's why I'm not. Doing a PhD in math, but I love the feeling of trying to understand something and the satisfaction of finally cracked it and finally figuring it out. So from now on, every question you see, you need to get to the bottom of it. From now on, you just won't accept that you don't know how to do a question or you don't understand a question. That's just not an option. Of course, the questions should be related to your class or the content you're currently studying. It can be questions from your homework, your exam, or textbooks. Well, there's no reason to study some random super advanced math questions that you see online. So every single question that is relevant to you and you already started working on it, you need to understand how it works at every single step and make sure that you can answer the question yourself independently. If there is another question that's exactly the same but different numbers, you should also be able to do that. So sometimes we felt math was so hard and felt like it didn't make any sense. How come it jumps from one step to the other? And in class, sometimes we just felt like, what is the teacher talking about? I'm just so lost. How come everyone else seems like they get it? And first of all, that is very common, and I still experience that all the time. When you have those feelings, it doesn't mean you're stupid or anything like that. The reason for that is all the math you're learning right now is built on some foundations that were taught before. And you probably forgot about it or just didn't learn it. Simple example: for question seven times eight minus five times three, the answer shows it equals to fifty-six minus fifteen equals to forty-one. But in order to get that, you actually need to know the order of operations, which is multiplication and division come before addition and subtraction. Then you will also need to know seven times eight equals to fifty-six and five times three equals to fifteen. For someone who doesn't know or forget any of those three things, this explanation just doesn't make. Sense. So when you're confused about something, target which exact step and find out what are the things that you're missing or confused about. You can either just Google that or ask someone. I want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, BetterHelp. I have been having online therapy with BetterHelp for about four months now, and it has been really, really helpful because it gives me so many tools to just live my life better. For example, I kept procrastinating on a recent project and I didn't know why, so I started to beat myself up and wonder. Why I was so lazy and unproductive, and my therapist helped me realize that my resistance to this project came from feeling in a similar project before. And by acknowledging this, I understood why I was struggling so much and started working immediately. If you are having a tough relationship with math, therapy can help you overcome it. If you are a student under lots of stress, or if you're dealing with mental health issues such as depression and anxiety, you can get help through better. Help in just 48 hours in most cases. 
To get started with BetterHelp, you fill out a questionnaire and they will match you with a licensed therapist based on your specific needs. If the therapist you are initially matched with does not feel like the right fit, you can easily switch to a new therapist. I personally changed my therapist twice before I found the right one, so if you think you might benefit from therapy, I highly recommend BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash hanjungle to get 10% off of your first month of BetterHelp. And ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't let the fear of looking stupid holding your back. I guarantee you most people would love to help you. Okay, if occasionally someone doesn't want to answer your question or the way they explain it is simply just not for you, just try a different person. And when you ask questions, try to be as specific as possible. It's gonna be very hard for them to help you if you just ask a very general or generic questions like, oh, I don't know how to do this question or like, I'm just confused. I don't know what's going on. Start with the things that you already understand. Say like, I understand here, but this step, I don't understand why it turned into this. Or say something like, oh, I thought it was something something, but I don't understand why is the answer shows this. This way you will get exactly what you needed and help the people to help you. And just the process of framing a question is also very helpful for you to understand the logic better. Math is hard. Don't beat yourself up when you can figure something out. Just last year before my modern analysis exam, I was crying in the library at 2 a.m. because I just couldn't understand a very important but hard question, no matter what. But after I cried, I still have an exam the next morning. So I took a couple deep breaths and calmed myself down. I knew what I needed was to be patient and trying to learn each step and figure out where I went wrong. Because I told myself that I would never let some stupid question defeat me, I am going to own their ass. So let's talk a little bit more about what is a good reason to learn math and I also want to share a little bit about my personal motivations and why I chose to study math in college. The first one is actually super shallow. I just want to look smart. I was done with people treating me like I was not smart. And the second reason is more opportunity and higher salary. So there are lots of high income skills are directly needed math. And math is a very competitive advantage. It's a very useful skill as it's transferable for a lot of things. When I was a freshman, I was interested in financial engineering and math was very important. I didn't end up studying that, but that's a story for another time. And reason number three is that math is the foundation of logic and that's a lifelong skill. I can comfortably say that studying math has changed my life because I got so much from learning math, especially the problem solving skills and just being logical as a huge part of my personality. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful day. Like and subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye.